What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP. And today I wanna to talk about how you can use the Quad Cortex to stream your guitar playing and desktop audio while also recording video with multi-layered audio for later editing from OBS Studio using only the Quad Cortex's USB audio capabilities. This tutorial will focus mainly on PC, but if you want a breakdown specifically on how to set this up on Mac, let me know in the comments below. Also, I know this is a relatively basic setup and some people are going to want to get into setups involving DAWs, automation, and utilizing MIDI through USB to control your quad cortex. Those videos will come in time, but for now it actually helps me and the channel out a ton to know what to focus on if you go to the comments after watching the video and let me know what you're interested in seeing on the channel. First off, we'll need to connect our Quad Cortex to our computer via the USB cable. If you're on PC, make sure you've downloaded the latest version of our Osseo driver from our downloads page. After you've gotten OBS set up, download a plugin for OBS called OBS Osseo. This plugin will allow OBS to see the various inputs and outputs your QC has and route them directly to the OBS mixer. I'm currently using the version 2.0.3 and that's worked perfectly for my purposes. After you've gotten OBS Osseo installed, go to the scene you want to add your Quad Cortex audio to and click the plus button to add a source. Click Osseo Input Capture and create a new input capture. We'll call it QC1-2. Set the device as Neural DSP USB Audio Device, format as Stereo, and then choose the outputs as From Out 1 and From Out 2. From here, you can pull up the control panel if you need to change the Osseo buffer size or check any of the other settings. Go ahead and close the window and your QC audio should be coming through on the input capture that you just created. With the Quad Cortex plugged in via USB, you can select it as the device for desktop audio either from the icon at the bottom right or from your audio device properties menu. Then set your desktop audio in OBS to speakers, Quad Cortex. From here, you can set up the volumes for your guitar and your desktop audio independently to go out to your stream. When you're ready to record your video from your OBS stream, go to Advanced Audio Properties and assign each channel you want to record to a specific track. Since I use track 1 to stream, I'll use track 2, 3, and 4 for my voice, QC, and desktop audio and assign my different audio tracks there so they'll be split during recording. Go to your output settings and make sure you have those tracks set to record to your MP4. This will give you an MP4 with layered audio so when you pull it into your editing software, those tracks will be embedded in the file. And as you see right here, all of the check marks are grayed out and that's because I'm actually recording with OBS currently. Alright, as I mentioned before, this is a pretty basic setup, but using the options of the Osseo input capture can give you a pretty flexible setup in OBS depending on what you need. I can see this feature being used for multiple instruments and musicians, or being used for something like podcasting. Having said that, I'm curious to know what you all are going to be using your Quad Cortexes for when it comes to live streaming. Let me know in the comments below, and while you're there, go ahead and leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload new content to this channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.